Good evening, YouTube and the internet. It's about 9 pm. I've been crawling under this thing for a couple of hours now. Uh, it's a little bit dark over here. But the loom is all hooked up, the gearbox uh, wires are hooked up for the reverse and neutral switch, I think they are. Wh whatever they are, speedo cable that's in. Um, Everything on the driver's side of the car is pretty much tidied up as far as the loom and what comes up from under the car. I have cut the shit out of my arms reaching under that plenum. Uh, and I have to undo it and reroute it because I sort of just pulled it up there to try and get everything in location. And then I reached under and did a screw up on a bracket and uh, it wasn't quite right. But now I know where everything goes. I should be able to reroute that without too much drama pretty quickly tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to call it night now. Uh, I still have to do all the boost control. These lines are all here. Down in there where you can't see. Uh, the other issue I had was the power steering hard line that runs across the subframe. Clearing the extended and baffled sump. It sort of does now. I had to undo it, all the brackets and that, to get it out of the way to get the engine in. And then uh, I've started putting it back in. And after doing the wiring and then struggling with that for a while, I started to get angry. And I was going to bend it or break it. Or bend something you shouldn't bend or break it. So I chucked a zip tie on it to hold it in place and I'm walking away. For tonight but I made good progress um, I anticipate starting this tomorrow yes I anticipate starting this tomorrow the boost control is pretty simple it's very straightforward and it was designed that way and I've put that on and off more times uh, than I care to mention whereas the the loom on the other side, I had, I had very little to do with that when, when that was all done. So that was a bit harder to find. And I didn't undo that. So I didn't know. I didn't recognize where everything went until I sort of pulled the loom through. And a lot of it you can't see under the plenum. A lot of it's by feel, sort of reaching under. Like these ones. With these fingers, which are as wide as they are long. Which is not very long. But it's quite wide doesn't make for good reaching into small places anyway hair's all jacked up I'm sure just so I add this into my bulk footage that I have of filming stuff I have to move so today's Monday the engine went in yesterday the new clutch went on I don't know if I showed you that NPC uh, carbonetic 10 inch clutch uh, what did happen, uh, I assume my son did it, climbing into the car to, to roll it out and in. I think he's bumped the clutch pedal without the clutch connected, so basically the slave cylinder piston came out. So I couldn't get that in, and then I had to pull that out and push it all back together with the vise. And it fit it all, but now I'm letting the clutch gravity bleed. I've got the nipple open and a line coming out of that uh, and venting back up so the pressure of the clutch fluid should just push it down in there. Hopefully, if not, I can bleed the clutch pretty simply with two people. But yeah, we're very close. So tomorrow, turbo boost control stuff. Uh, radiator, intercooler. Those sorts of items. There's all the cool piping over there. And uh, fuel lines to there. They have to go on. That's about it. Turn the key. Fuel. I need fuel. I need fresh fuel. Uh, I've got to just make sure that there's nothing crusty in the bottom of the tank before I do start it too. So. I'll do that and make sure the fuel filter is clear. It's a pretty much a new filter when it went on, but it's been sitting there for a while, so I'll double check that. 
but we should be golden. First start tomorrow. Tidy up Wednesday. And load it up on the trailer Thursday. Take it to the tuna Friday morning. It sounds like a plan, doesn't it? Pretty happy with that plan. I'm going to go now. Uh, I will get to filming tomorrow night of me struggling to do that shit. Good afternoon, YouTube and the internet. We have an almost fully plumbed in, well actually the engine is all plumbed in, wired in, RB25. We still have to mount the front bar rear so we can mount the intercooler piping so I don't have boost leaks when I start it, uh, or vacuum leaks effectively for, for when it's idling. Um, yeah, before I can start it yet, so I have to fit that, put the cooler piping in. Um, I've got the fuel line at the front here to drain the fuel that's in the tank. And I'm just working on uh, tricking the relay into pumping rather than looking for an ignition signal uh, to keep pumping instead of just pumping for the first five seconds. And then we've got to put coolant in it, oil in it, build oil pressure, start it. I know I haven't filmed any of plumbing it all in, and I apologise for that if you were interested. But it was just way more important I got it done. I did go grab the camera this morning when I was going to do all this. Uh, and unfortunately it was flat, so I didn't have time to deal with it. So I just, um, I just went ahead and got it done. So, I did manage to leave, have a leftover. This random braided hose. It looks very important. But I've got all the feeds and all the lines I need to run the car. Uh, I do have a lot of spare and other random not used braided lines in the garage. Uh, it's potentially it's been accidentally placed with the parts that came off the car from that pile of stuff. So that's what I'm hoping. If it's oil or coolant related, when I go to fill it up, it's going to piss out. So I'll find out where it goes if it does go on there pretty quick. Um... Yeah, so it's about 5 o'clock, and I want to get this started by 6. So, uh, yeah, I'll get straight on to it. Good evening, YouTube and the Internet. Well, I've had a few problems. Got my apprentice working. Buttoning up the intercooler piping. We have a hole in the radiator. It's leaking like a sieve. So... I can't put coal in it, but I can try and build the oil pressure and get it turned over and fire. So I will do that. Um, to pump out the fuel, I'm going to have to use my phone for a torch over here. So to pump out the fuel, this is the fuel relay here. And if I can hold both my phone and that without pressing the buttons. So what we've done is we've tripped it to pump full time by putting those two together. This is the standard 32 fuel um, fuel pump relay right there. It just plugs into that. So by doing that, we're just sending per permanent power to the pump. Now, we're not right now because I've got the ignition off, the clamps come out, the battery isolated, etc, etc. It worked pretty well. Um, got most of it out, but I need to drop it flat on the ground like that in order to pump the last of the fuel out of the tank. Then I'm going to put some methanol in it, pump that out, just to make sure it's clear, and then uh, hook up the fuel line, start it. Well, despite a leaking radiator, not being able to put coolant in it, we are pretty much buttoned up. I'm going to see if I can find a radiator tomorrow and get it fitted. Tomorrow afternoon. Because she's booked in for, for Friday. Today's Wednesday. About to just pop the spark plugs out. And spin it up with the fuel pump relay disconnected. To build oil pressure before trying to start it. Plug that in. Put the coils in. 
dot it. That's it. That's it. That's it. I told a lie a second ago. I said I'd have the fuel pump relay out. I don't. I've unplugged the injector loom. Uh, the reason being there will probably be something in the ignition circuit which will do something stupid. So fuel pump relays in, uh, injector loom is unplugged, spark plugs are out. This is so it's got zero resistance and it should free spin and make the oil pressure real quick and easy. Uh, so we're not starving of oil up the top. So very close. Set you up somewhere. Just on and off. Super quick. Stop. That line is fucked. What the fuck? How did that happen? Well, that's fucked it. The gods hate me. So tomorrow we have to replace the fuel fuel line. This one, at least. And oh, it's got to be should get out now. One minute that's way down there. I did that through the front. The radio's got to come out as well. Replace the radiator. Replace the fuel hose. Uh, lots of other stuff. So take two. Gonna have to replace that fuel line. Um, just got the relay disconnected. Gonna spin it up. See if we can make oil pressure. So I have to replace a radiator and a fuel line, and I think that's it. Just a bit shit, but I've already found a radiator, so. Spins around, apparently. So I was told. Um, but the battery's lost all its juju. When I was testing for to, to check what I needed to jump on the relay to make it pump fuel, it only had 10 volts. So I had a suspicion that might happen. I did look for the charger earlier, couldn't find it. But uh, I'll have a proper look now. Good afternoon again, YouTube and the internet. It's uh, Thursday afternoon, just got home from work, uh, someone on their way with a radiator, uh, someone on their way with some hose, I've got a jump starter for the battery, all three things that went wrong last night, <coughs> covered off, so when the hose gets here I have to take the fittings off this one and remake that, radiator is a stock, radiator is going to go in, no drama, it'll fit. It'll be fine for getting a run-in tune sorted. Um, hopefully no more dramas. But right now I'm going to jump in, see if I can build some oil pressure with the jump starter on the back. Because the boot's in the back. Of course the boot's in the back. The battery's in the boot. Okay. Look at it. <laughs> no spark. No, 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 something. No. Have I forgot to plug in a loom? 
Well, YouTube and the internet, that's the scraps of footage I had of getting the car together, ready to start it. And it didn't start. Um, lots and lots of troubleshooting. Too busy doing that to film it, so... Because I was on a time pinch. I didn't make the timeline. It didn't go to the tuner when it was supposed to. And I had to move it over to the new house, so it went in the garage. Um, I've done some stuff since uh, moving. Uh, but that's the last of what I did in the old house. And then moving house became the most critical thing I had to do. So then when I got that sort of sorted, I went back to the car afternoons and that. Uh, had a mate over, did some checks. Still won't start. Got to the bottom of the condition of the condition that's causing it to not start. But what's causing that to happen is the mystery. Uh... Basically, it's got low compression. There's a handful of reasons that could be. Some really, really bad ones, like catastrophic, as in engine out, start again. Uh, but there's a couple of reasons it could be, which are, are nothing more than minor things, things like lifters being stuck and that sort of stuff. So I haven't had a chance to get out to the car in the last sort of couple of weeks and do the leak down test which is what I've got to do next to isolate where the compression is going to where's it getting out and then I'll be able to determine what the correct course of action is from that point until I get that information there's no point guessing what it is so I'll do that and then at that point well I'll show you that that's going to be the next video I do um, so I'll show you doing the comp test in the next vid when I do it, uh, not comp test, leak down test, I've already done a comp test and I didn't film it. I've done a comp test video on a 25 on the mile 33, put a thing up here somewhere, is it up there, somewhere on the screen, uh, you can go and have a look at that. Uh, yeah, ultimately I failed in putting the engine together at this point, nothing I can't rectify I don't think, and I, I think I know what it is, but I... I want to test it to be sure and then um, yeah we'll find out once that's fixed it should start should run should uh, should be good to go to the dyno but it's assuming I'm right about what the problem is if I'm wrong about the problem pretty much every other option either has the head coming off or the engine coming out so um, time will tell just how badly have I messed up who knows but, like I always said, if, if I did it wrong and it didn't work, I was always going to be open and honest. Um, so we'll find out what the issue is and determine how that happened in the next video.